Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the May release, which is the build 2000 621.1928 or KB5027303. This is the C release for the month of June in the May release, as you're used to, and this update introduces the Moment 3 features for all users, and of course, in the B release for the month of July, all users should automatically have all the new Moment 3 update features within their Windows Windows 11 operating system. As I've said before, the Moment 3 update for Windows 11 22H2 had a bit of a gradual rollout, so not all users got it since the official release, but I think Microsoft is doing this so that they can get more feedback and see if there are any major problems with the update. Of course, if you want to learn more about how the main release works on Windows 11, check out the article below in the video's description. And of course, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future your uploads like this one from the tech base channel before starting the video a quick message from our video sponsor this video is sponsored by hitpod video converter with hitpod video converter you can convert to and from more than a thousand video slash audio formats you even have the ability to apply simple edits to the file such as cut merge and more using hitpod video converter you can also burn video or audio to dvd to compress videos using the software you need to select the video slash image compressor from the toolbox you'll need to select the video and the level of compression that you want before clicking the compress button. The end result is very good with little to no quality loss. Download HitPaw Video Converter from the links in the description below. Let's continue with the video. As I've said, this update introduces Moment 3 update features to all users and also these are mentioned in the official blog post. If You can find that in the article below in the video description if you're interested in that. But of course, I'm gonna very briefly mention all the Moment 3 update features for those of you who don't know them. So we have improvements for the live captions and voice access apps, new VPN network icon in the system tray when you are connected to a recognized VPN, lock with seconds in the system tray, new copy button for 2FA codes and side notifications, access key shortcuts for file explorer context menu, multi-app kiosk mode, live kernel memory dump and task manager, new settings for showing the touch keyboard when there is no keyboard attached, content adaptive brightness control, USB 4 hubs and devices settings page, present sensing settings, improved search performance and settings, changed print screen key behavior, limit of 20 most recent tabs when you use Alt plus tab and snap assist. And lastly, improved cloud suggestion and integrated search suggestion. You can find all these listed in the article below. And of course, if you're interested in an in-depth presentation of the Moment 3 update, you can check out previous videos that I've done on the channel. In particular to this update, I can mention a few changes and a few fixes that could be interesting for some of you. This update adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Also with this update, you can now authenticate across Microsoft Clouds. This feature also satisfies conditional access checks if they are needed. Also, this update affects the reliability of Windows. It improves after you update the OS to this version. And one thing that I think is useful in particular related to File Explorer, this update addresses an issue that affects File Explorer. It might stop responding indefinitely. This occurs after you try to view the effective access permissions for files in File Explorer. Of course, if you want to check out the full list of changes and fixes in this update or build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. And we are also getting the Windows 11 service and stack update with the version 22,000 621.1916. This update, basically, this ensures that you have a robust and reliable services stack so that your device can receive and install Microsoft updates. So this is pretty much the latest update for the main release of Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.